Okay, so God bless everybody and welcome to another video tutorial with the MC909 and on this occasion we got um we got a, a comment or a question from Strange Wolf. Thank you very much for for commenting. And your question is can you transfer the MIDI data to a DAW? Thanks, yes. That could be done, and this video tutorial, we're going to show exactly that. And I really appreciate your comments. Really appreciate if you subscribe and, and hit the like button. And here we go with the video tutorial. First of all, I just want to point out a, a few buttons, very important, right? F6, very important. Have that on mind. F6. We got this button over here, the menu. And also we got two buttons over here, enter and exit. Okay, these two are very important also. And of course the value knob, the cursor, you know, and whatnot, the other buttons are very important also. But I just want to point those out. Those are the most the mostly used buttons. Menu, enter, exit, and F6, which is right. Okay, now. We are right now on user location. I have um, a few beats that I have done or songs, okay, through the years. So we're gonna move into, let's move into the patterns from the machine. Let's move from location. So we're gonna go list presets, okay? We're gonna select pattern F6 and there you go. So we're going to work with this pattern. We're going to select it just for demo purposes. And we're going to export this pattern into the computer. Okay. Hold on. Hold on one second. There you go. Okay. So on this pattern, we got number two, three, four, five, six. We don't have um, engaged number seven. We got eight. 10 so 1 and 9 are not working number 7 is not engaged probably we have data on number 7 but it's not engaged so all these channels or these parts um those are the ones that are going to be we're going to be working with those on our daw okay so here we go all we do is make sure that you have connected your usb cable into USB port in your computer, first of all, and uh, make sure that the USB cable works. Okay. If it doesn't work, you're going to have problems, obviously. Okay. So here we go. We're going to hit the menu button. We're going to go into utility. We're going to hit enter. Save as standard MIDI file, as you can see it right here. You could import standard MIDI files if you find songs on the internet which are standard MIDI files. You could import them and then you could edit them on the machine. You could save, you could import waves, your samples, you could import them. Okay, everything depends on how much uh, space you got, how much memory you got. You got a car location and you got a uh, memory location. Okay. So here, we're going to move the cursor down. We're going to select Save As. We're going to export. Okay. Enter. And here we got two locations. We got User, F1, and the card, F2. Okay. If you have enough space on either, it doesn't really matter where you're going to place it. Okay. As you can see already, I, I try it here. So we're going to do the same thing here. Pattern 001. P001. That's the one that we're working on right now. So is on user location. In user location. And it's over user temp standard MIDI file. You can see it right here. I think is readable. Hopefully. I'm not sure this readable my my screen is very bad Let's see there you go a little bit more contrast 
So we got over here user temp standard media file. Okay. And it's over user location. Okay. So all we do here, just press save, which is F6. Save the current pattern as a standard media file. MIDI file as are you sure yes execute f6 now saving and it's saved okay now when we hit menu and we go to usb there's a window in the computer that's going to open so we're going to switch on uh, the screen for the computer in a second right here on usb we're going to hit um, enter okay so as soon as we select memory card or internal is gonna the window is gonna pop up okay in the computer we're gonna hit internal here and it's gonna be f3 please connect your usb cable is connected now we're gonna switch to the computer okay here we are we got already open our our fl studio our daw Okay, so this is the window that opens MC909 user. Okay, so we're going to double click here. Temp standard MIDI file SMF. And here it is. Okay. I don't know why it says 2002. I think that's the date that it was created, most likely. But that doesn't really matter. We're just going to copy it, or we could just drag it to our to our uh, desktop. I'm just going to copy. It doesn't really matter whatever method you use. Copy and paste. And here it is. Okay. Okay, so now I can exit this. F6, exit. And we could hit cancel. Okay, we're not using the USB any longer. So we just exit it and cancel it. And now we switch to the screen. And here we are one more time. All we need to do is just select which one are the the sounds or the 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 parts right that we want to uh, bring in. If we want to bring all of them, we have to have a mind. All of them are going to sound at the same time. Okay, here's an example. All of the parts. Okay. You know, we align events, a sip, and here, here they are, all the parts. Okay, as you can see, if I double click, these are all the parts. If I play it, it's not going to play the parts separately. Okay. The only bad thing is that it only, you could only hear. Let me go back to the MC-909. You could only hear the part which is selected. And the one that is selected is this one. Okay, if I change here, all those sounds that we just imported are going to sound on this on this uh, part or channel. Hold on a second, which is this one. So this is the bass, this other synthesizer. So if I hit play on my DAW, that's the only bad thing. You're going to hear everything that got imported on this channel. That's the only bad thing that I don't like about the MC-909. But that's how they did it. So let's deal with it. Okay, I'm going to switch back to the screen. So what we do, or what we could do is just import one channel at the time or one part at the time. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We just drag it. We select none of them. Okay, and then we could just select number two. A set, a hold on, realign events. And there you go. Now this is the base part, so we got to move on our 909. 
we got to select part number two right here. Okay, so that way it will be the right sound, which is the bass part. Okay, let me switch screen again. And also, we need to select here a MIDI out um, channel. Replace. And we go right around here, MIDI out. That's only in case that I want um that i want the sound of my mc909 if i don't want the sound of my mc909 i just select any vst native or any vst that that has sounds a sound generator and that's basically it here we got i'm putting it on port number one because that's where i have the mc909 connected on channel one so we should have sound now when I hit play. There you go. So the MIDI is playing. You can see it right here. The MIDI file. Only the bass part because that's what we um, imported into the DAW. Okay. If you don't like that sound, you could change the sound on your MC909 and then you could record that as a WAV file. If you don't want to do that, then you could just replace this here and you could use any any um any BST that you have. Let's say I don't know. Say oh okay, I want to use Harmor. Okay, so now it's not MIDI, remember? Now it's Harmor. OMG, okay. <laughs> wow, the CPU went crazy. Okay, so this takes a lot of the CPU. Incredible. Okay, I never have used Harmor. Let me see, we got a base preset around here. I don't know. Hard lead. Okay, let me lower the volume a bit. Okay. Um, there you go. No, oh, it's very heavy on the CPU, so let's just change it. It doesn't really matter, you know. This is just a demonstration. Let's use Sector. Sector is pretty good on the CPU. And there you go. You change it here to base and use any kind of base, doesn't really matter. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So CPU is not happy today. I don't know what's going on. Whatever. My computer is kind of old. It's not helping at all. I apologize for that. My computer, I have it for almost 15 years. And it's about time that I change it. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Anyway, you got the idea. That's how you bring in your MIDI file. In just one channel at a time. Or, if you want to bring them all in, all the channels... You just saw so how I did it. Um, here I have to put it on port one. Just make sure that you got the right port and on the right channel. So that way you can have the sound. Okay. And let me just bring another one. Just click here, another MIDI out. But like I said, it will only play one sound at the time on on your mc909 i'm gonna leave it here on channel two let's see what happens we're gonna bring number three part number three okay here we go let's see what happens now see? since i have the sound of the bass that's why it just recognizing that sound which is that's terrible, but that's how it works. You see what? Change the channel here. Oh, 
That doesn't make a difference. Okay. So we move it to channel uh, part number three on the um, the MC909. And that's the right sound. Okay, so that will be this one. So the good thing is that with MIDI, you could change it however you want. You could move the notes around. You could make them longer. You could play with the velocities. That's the good thing of MIDI, and you could do it real fast. You can add notes. Oh, let me do the opposite. Hold on. Oh, sorry. That's only so you can have an idea of what I'm talking about. So that's how you bring in, that's how you import to your DAW a MIDI file or a MIDI data file from the MC909. You just one by one or all, all of them at the same time. Like I said, um, MIDI files, you edit them however you want. You, you don't have a problem with that. So you could take the whole pattern and you could edit everything. The drums, you could change it. You could change the key of the song. You could add notes. You could take out notes. You could transpose any chords or any sounds, whatever. You could make the, the a whole different new beat with the idea of the pattern. So that's a good thing of MIDI. So this is the video tutorial. I really appreciate you guys. Um, watch it until here and i'll see you then on my next video thanks you so much for writing um what was the name of it oh, strange rule i believe it was strange rule yes thank you very much and i'll see you guys on the next video god bless see you then